hello again. This time it, this video will be a video response to Samira. To you, Samira, you wrote me uh, a letter a week ago, maybe. And I was wanting to 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 respond to it. <laughs> you wrote. I wrote uh, your question, but. I just never found opportunity to, 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 to make a video as you see. I was carrying it in, in my in my trou in my uh, trousers and <laughs> the rain took me and you can see that it was okay. That it was wet. You say, Samira, you're right. What I, ca what I have gathered from the past year of watching your videos is that you have gone through some tough times. <laughs> yes. I have gone through some very tough times. I guess that my life Especially the last years, beginning with when I was 18, there started times when times that were really hard for me. And life was tough ever since. <laughs> but this last year was indeed very intense. This 2012. Let's see how 2013 <laughs> is going to be. So yes, I have gone through some very tough times and I haven't talked about it. I'd like to talk about it, but there would be so many things and uh, maybe so many feelings, so many things that I wouldn't know where to start to, to, to speak about it. But I hope I will <laughs> soon. Okay, I continue reading. So what I would like to ask you, the Lama, is have you truly found peace within yourself? And if you feel that you have, how have you obtained it? Or how have you achieved it? <laughs> Are you 100% satisfied with it? This is your question. Thank you for your question, Samira. <laughs> it is a good question, it is a kind of direct question. Dilemma, have you found peace? <laughs> Dilemma, are you enlightened? Have you found peace? <laughs> what is peace? What is enlightenment? What is truth? What is it? It can be a word, it can be a concept. And what to, to one person would be peace, to another person may not be peace. And what one would say about enlightenment would not be another's experience. So, in the beginning, these are just words. And uh, if you meditate, or if you do any kind of practice, or just life practice of living, to, to come to yourself, or to come to truth, or to find something real, then in this journey, you will very quickly go beyond words and concepts. And these words will no longer be... Um, they will not mean much to you. You will go beyond them, beyond these words. So to ask me, uh, have you found peace? It would be... 
peace. He found peace. And yet, life is always new, always giving something new, surprising and always fresh. <laughs> and it has many ways to knock us. <laughs> <laughs> to give us new challenges and new times and for me like I said it was well I had some very hard times so we could say that these times was like were like um, a trial how do you say a trial of my peace <laughs> trial of my realization because when everything goes well <laughs> um, you think that everything is perfect but when things go wrong when things go bad this is where you <laughs> you really have you really see who you are yes Have I attained peace? Yes and no. No, because peace cannot be attained. Enlightenment, truth, realization, life cannot be attained. You cannot have it. You cannot. You cannot have it. No matter how many years you would meditate, how many lifetimes you would... You cannot have it. <laughs> it can... it can have you, <laughs> rather. But in order for it to have you, <laughs> you must cease to exist. <laughs> you cannot have peace. But peace can happen when you are not on your I, your identity, your identifying yourself with who you think you are, when this is absent, then, then it is possible to peace to happen, to, for truth to happen, for enlightenment to happen. It does not belong, and to me it does not belong. The things I understood, or this wisdom, or this love, or this peace, they do, they do not belong to me. They don't belong to me. <laughs> the moment I would think that it belongs, <laughs> it would be absent. It simply is. simply is. It is not... It is something very subtle. It cannot be named in words. It cannot be understood with the mind. It is something so subtle that it is more subtle than the identity of what we that, that that we have it is more subtle than anything this is why it's true <laughs> it cannot be understood it cannot be it cannot be understood it can be perceived when you are very still when you're very still. You can feel it. It feels like the sun is shining in you. It feels like a blessing. This peace that happens. This enlightenment that happens. It's like a grace. 
is like a blessing. A grace that you cannot have. It is not like a gift or something that now you have it and I have it. It is like a grace that happens. <laughs> simply happens. Mm. It cannot be achieved, it cannot be acquired, it is not a commodity, it is not a, something you can have. But at the same time, <laughs> in order to have it, have it, <laughs> in order to have it happen, <laughs> you have to work hard. <laughs> 